Today I'm going to talk to you about arrays. Arrays are ways to show equal groups. For instance, these are columns. This side, these are rows. When we talk about an array, we'll talk about them as rows times columns. When we show this, we show this as down times across. Down times across. To show this on a grid to make it a little easier, I was going to talk about the array 3 times 2, then I would know I'm going 3 down times 2 across. How I would show that is I would go over here and I would look at my magic corner and I would start here counting down 1, 2, 3 down. Go back to my magic corner, start counting from here, one, two, across, three down, two across, and then I would create a rectangle, because arrays are in rectangular form, and I would fill in my squares, and then I would put a little multiplication sign in this corner, three times two equals 6. 3 times 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't have to have a grid. I could show this same array just going 1, 2, 3 down. My magic corner. 1, 2 across. And I could still show that this is 3 times 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Arrays are used to show the commutative property of multiplication as well. 3 times 2 equals 6 and 2 times 3 equals 6. We can represent these in very different ways three groups of two and two groups of three. When we create an array, we will create them down times across. So the array for three times two equals six, we've shown as one, two, three down, one, two across, create my rectangle, three, two, times, 3 times 2 equals 6. We can also show 2 times 3 equals 6. 1, 2 down, start my magic corner, 1, 2, 3 across. Probably the most common mistake that second graders make is they don't start counting in that magic corner, they skip over and they count one here. Fill that in and you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 2, 3, 2 times 3 equals 6. Okay, so now it's your turn to try. You can get a piece of paper. Remember we're going down times across. Okay, rows down times columns across. Don't forget to put your multiplication sign in the corner. Okay? You try this one. 4 times 3. If you went 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, three across and filled them in. Get my rectangle form. Four times 
3, 4 times 3 equals 12. You can try some of those on your own, just drawing them on paper and seeing what your arrays are. You can also do it the opposite way, where you can guess the array that, that I'm drawing. So here's my array, and you can count. Go ahead and see if you can figure that one out. If you guessed, one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four. You got it right. So now I'm going to show you some pictures of some arrays I found in my world, and I'm hoping that you'll bring in some pictures of arrays that you find in your world at your house or at the store or outside. Let's see how many pictures of arrays we can find. You can send them to me on my email. Okay? Have fun! Class said, Hooray! 